What's up YouTubers? Roadrunner back with some more project cars. Uh, I took a small break because I didn't have anything new to share with you. And today, uh, in fact yesterday, the community event that was available finished yesterday. Today I tried to connect and see if there is a new, a new community event. Uh, when I first logged in, there was nothing about the available availability time and uh, so it says it's, it will be available in five days and it requires the US race car pack and 10 minutes ago I didn't see anything so I said okay maybe if I buy the US, US race car pack I will see this community event unlocked to me so I will be able to race so I bought the US race car pack. It cost me two pounds and 89 cents. Well, it's not that expensive, but I had to buy it anyway. It comes with four cars and we will see it. We will see them very soon. Uh, but after I bought it, now I see this message available in five days. So it, mean, it means I have to wait five days so I can play this freaking community event. So why didn't they Put the message before I bought this goddamn race car pack. It's unbelievable. Anyway, let's see the cars. So if I go back to free practice, I can see the list of all cars. So the first car is the Chevrolet. Corvette C7R, it's a 2015 model. Let's see some info. 500 horsepower, 295 kilometers per hour of top speed, 0 to 103.2 seconds. It's a nice looking car. 1200 kilos. Nice. Nice, nice. some more pictures yeah it looks really good the second car of this race race pack is the Cadillac Cadillac where, where are you this one Cadillac ATS VR GT3 so it's a GT3 car again 500 horsepower a little less top speed. I don't know if it's faster or not, I don't remember the number. Corvette. Sorry. I'm stupid. 295, yeah, so. The Cadillac is a little bit slower. 282. A little, a little bit heavier, but it should be a nice car anyway. The third car is a 2014 Dallara DW12 Indy car. So let's select it. 680 horsepower, 373 kilometers per hour top speed. I'm thinking of using this car to take the trophy, you know, where the trophy you have to drive above 333 kilometers per hour for more than 6.66 seconds. Should be nice. I'll try, I'll, I'll take this car, drive on, a, on an oval course, on a oval track. And I'm pretty sure I'll take this trophy in no time. Very nice car. And the Fourth car is a 2016 Ford. Uh, where are you? Ford Fusion stock car. It's a beast. <laughs> oh my god. 880 horsepower, 354 kilometers per hour top speed. It's heavy, coming. It's really heavy. Almost 1500 kilos. It's 
nice. So now I have the US race car pack and I cannot race the freaking community event. And I'm wondering if they are going to make it available for 30 days again. Because if they do it, they will confirm my suspicion. I don't know, it, it will be the second community event that I will play. I don't know if before it was like that, but I don't think so because this game was launched when? Last year? 2015 or 2014, I don't remember. Anyway, if it's one community event every month, as I said uh, in a previous video, to unlock the trophy where you have to race 20 events, you will take almost two years. It's unfreaking believable. Why not make a community event per week? One every week? Why not? I don't know if we can can press them or if we can at least suggest these kind of changes in the community events one every week or every 50 days why not but uh, at least two per month leave your comments down below if you like the video leave your thumbs up also tell me what you think about these community events I hope you enjoyed it see you next time